Do you buy vinyl? Hi, this is Chris Clark. I'm at Amoeba and this is What's in My Bag. This is an album that I loved when I was about 19. Smog, knock, knock. And there's always some turtle snapping in my head. And it, I did a cover of one of the songs on this that no one will ever hear because it's shit. Just forget, forget I did that. But the song I covered was Teenage Spaceship. Flying alone. A teenage spaceship. It was a teenage spaceship. It's a classic album. Just amazing lyrics. Very pithy, dry, sharp. Quite evil songs, some of them. Um, but he's got this like amazing deadpan delivery. Almost like he's talking. He's a great songwriter. Really underrated. He's really prolific. He's not as much of a celeb as like Bonnie Prince Billy and he doesn't sort of flounce around as much, but he's equal to him in every way. Not other I'm dissing Bonnie Prince Billy. Oh. I don't know why I called it Knock Knock. It doesn't quite add up as a cover. <laughs> I wonder if he's into techno. It'd be good if he was. I like the idea of him like secretly being really into like jungle or techno or something. But I doubt, I sort of doubt it somehow. This album is Camplo Uptown Saturday Night. This is it, what? Lucini pouring from the sky, let's get rich, what? The cheeky fast and sugar dance, can't quit, what? It's amazing, it's just really stripped back production, really summery barbecue vibes. It's quite happy for my, like, Usually the hip-hop I like is a bit more grimy and dark and gnarly, like early company flow and things like that. It's more the snares. They sound like kicks. The snares sound like they're like really, they're like really deep and resonant and there's loads of low mid on them and they just, they're just like amazingly punchy. It's a very warm album. Sometimes the MCing gets a bit irritating, but I always like the instrumentals like more. Good album though. Very good album. This is another record that I used to have on CD, Harmonia, music from Cluster and Noi collaboration. It's like really warm, slowly evolving kraut rock with lots of synths. Really nicely melodic and subtle, but kind of quite driving as well. Yeah, I was listening to loads of this kind of music around Body Riddle. Can, Noi, Silver Apples, Harmonia. It really influenced it. I don't think in a direct way, but it's, it's also great music just to practice drums to because you can just lock into it and so metronomic. I don't know what this is about. I'm a bit suspicious of that digitally remastered. I mean, what are they going to do to it? A bit worrying. This is sort of borderline basic but it's just got so much charm and it was really unusual for the time. Because the synth textures in this, I'm predicting that they'll be quite thick and they'll have that like 70s hi-fi saturation where people started doing things properly in it. And that is a benchmark of sorts, but then along come like suicide and invert that and do these really reedy, mid-rangey riffs that are really monotonous and there's not, there's not an emphasis on musicianship really. <laughs> way more punk influence. This still sounds good in my mind. I just remember really like sharp claves in this as well, really percussive and driving. You could probably play it in a techno set actually. I don't know if you could, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it would be sacrilege to sort of re-pitch it or whatever. The lyrics are quite depressing as well. The really dark one is Frankie Teardrop I think. It's about Frankie who goes mad and either ends up killing himself or other people. Frankie is so desperate. 
gotta kill his wife and kid. His voice on Cherie is just like borderline sort of sexually deviant, mumbling into a mic whilst dribbling over it. But he looks cool, look. So you can get away with that. I haven't heard this, but the label's good and I saw him play at the Bergheim. Typical place to see someone like this. Egyptian lover. See, I think he had a real 808 and he was shouting. It was good hearing an 808 almost directly into the sound system there. Just sounded massive. It's called Egypt, Egypt. And there's also a track called Girl. I'm sure it's good. It better be good, because I'm going to buy it. I'm quite tempted to open this record up now. Oh, it's got little metal bits in it. Yeah, this is nice. That's nice packaging, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's wicked. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. Well, I hope I enjoy it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs>